Hey guys, today I'm going to be sketching and I have my sketchbook here and my um, sketch tutorial book kind of right here. So today I'm going to be drawing. So the things I can draw is fairies, fairy tale princesses, baby animals, and the ocean animals, costumes and fashion, fantasy, garden, in the garden, animals, and horses. So, the one that I'm probably going to most likely do is random. So, I'm just going to pick a random one. This one. I have costumes and fashion. Which is pretty hard. So, this is the one that I've gotten. Right here. So the type of dress I'm going to do is either is either uh, ancient ancient Egyptian geisha India sari 1920s flappers 1960 mod 1970s disco, 1980s girl, punk, flam flamenco, and Hollywood starlet. Now the one I'm going to do is, don't worry I'll show you all of these, but the ones that I'm going to do is 1960 mod. All right, right there, that's what I'm going to sketch out. So I want to go ahead and get started. So you get some room up in this place. So, okay, I'm ready to get started. And here's my sketchbook right here. It's just plain, but the cover looks like this right there so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so the first step is to the first step it names the steps right there step one and step two you can take a pic pause the video and try with me Hopefully you can see the words. And here's step three. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So step one is up. Oh, yeah, step one is to build the structure of the body. So like the spine, the head, the arms the angle of the elbow, all of that stuff. So, we're gonna have to draw a circle. Okay, let me erase this. And then draw it more straighter. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> And now we need to draw like a plus sign that examples like the nose, the eyes, and the mouth structure, kind of. So, and the also you need to draw the structure of the chin. So, I'm gonna do a plus sign. Now the plus sign is, is, shouldn't be exactly perfect when it comes to like angles of the face. Like if the face is just staring straight at you, then the plus sign would probably be like normal. If it was like at an angle like turn like this, We'll probably the plus sign the top of it will probably be shorter than the bottom and it'll be more on the right side of the face or left side depending on where the face is turned so um hopefully it comes out good okay now we got to go now i have to do the structure of the chin 
which is kind of it's very small indent then the the cheekbone I messed up <laughs> okay Okay, that chin is not gonna do. I need to fix some stuff here. So I'm in a little bit of trouble, seems like. I'm gonna make that shorter. So, yeah. Having tactical issues. I got the chin good, so, so far I've gotten the head. So yeah, so far I've gotten the head. And now I got to do the body and spine and arms and hands. And when for the joints, you also put like small circles for the joints, like shoulder, um, elbow. Now for the wrist, you don't have to do that since the hand is connected to it. And also, the hand will kind of look like, um, kind of look like a small pebble, for example, like a rock pebble, or a uh, oval. So yeah. So we draw the spine. This goes like this. Then all the way down. Okay. Now we need to make a circle from the indent to halfway. So I made I've made the spine. So now I have to make the body. Now the body doesn't look like a body because this is just a structure. It's just like a circle kind of. Yeah, when you're trying to draw something structure, doing structure before actually helps with the position of where the body is. So I would suggest doing structure when you draw um, a person. But if you have easier ways, that's fine. You don't have to do structure. And it doesn't have to be perfect either. So I have done the body. Now let's see. This will be a little shorter. Now it's time to do the arms. Okay, so yeah I have the spine and the body so now I have to do the arms and when you're also trying to like align the shoulders you also make a line like a very gentle light line to like position the shoulders straight so let's go ahead and do that and it also has to touch the spine of course <laughs> okay so it's gonna be a circle right here and right here and then you make a line right through the middle of them but a little very gentle indent when you hit the spine But don't worry, I'll show you the whole picture. So now, the arms are gonna go straight down. Well, the 
let's see. Her her left her right arm is gonna go straight down. So let's see. Looks like I'm gonna have to draw the hip in order to do this right. Okay. The hip is like an oval too. But in there in your perspective it'll look like it's um you're looking at the top of it. Which is pretty cool. I messed up again. Okay, so now I'm going to have to draw the hip in order to get the hands right. The hip is kind of at an angle. So, um... There we go. That's somewhat right. <laughs> so now I have to do the line at where the spine hits the hip. Which is supposed to help somehow, but you yeah, know, that's fine. Now let's just make that one. Now if you want to know another way to make a gentle line is make a draw a dark line and then erase it and you'll have a light line but that could be you shouldn't do that because then that line be there forever so that's why they tell you to draw a gentle line so you can erase it and it won't be as noticeable as dark lines there we go now I can draw the um, hands so we're gonna need I want to start on her left arm first so her left arm is like as if she like putting her hands on her hips as like a kind of like a um a triangle shape from the hip to the elbow. So I'm gonna do that. I need it more out. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh guys, I also have to tell you another thing. I will be getting a new camera, so when I do another sketch video, you'll actually be able to see me sketching than just, you know, watching me talk and stuff. But don't worry, I'll show you. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to be getting two new cameras and a tripod. Finally. <laughs> okay. Um... So now I can go ahead and put her lower arm onto her hips. Seems like. There we go. And her lower arm onto the hips. And then that's when I get to draw the hand. Which is going to be a little hard for some people because you're going to have to position it really precise. So yeah, now that I have to make the hips on the the hand on the hips, can't get my sentences right today. So there we go. I got the first arm and hand. So now I'm gonna have to do the second one, which is a little bit more easy or it could be difficult for some people there we go and um that's way too close okay now we gotta put it out so Now we're going to try to make it look like in a glob, but with the flat side underneath it, so, okay, so let's see. There we go. 
So I have now done that part. So now this is what it looks like so far. So that's just the structure though. So you probably like that doesn't look like the girl at all. But that's just the structure. So now I have to do the legs, are which are kind of like a stick figure. But since this is just structure, that's why it looks like that. Kind of like if you're drawing bones. That's what you can, you know, say it like. Now I'm going to have to draw this leg over here. So one. So yeah, um, the f right foot port points outward. And so does the left one, but the point, the right foot or the right leg is more like out so the knees are not going to be yeah the knees are at an angle what I'm trying to say so yeah okay I got that done and now I'm going to draw the other one so this one's more lower Then we're going to have to draw this foot. And the foot kind of looks like a glob too, but a line above. But I'll show you after I'm done. Okay, and then... It's really hard trying to get it exact. Uh, I made it too short. It's so hard. Okay. There you go. And now I'm gonna have to do the other foot, which is more lower. So, and this one is the one that points outwards. Okay, yeah. There you go. So now I've gotten. So, like, I was talking about the, the knee joints are not going to be in the same place because she's like stepping at an angle. So that's how she looks total. I want to have to put this sideways. Screen, but that's how she looks total. Now it's time. So now we're actually done with the structure, just like that. Now, what we have to do is erase this, but it, was, it still look like a light, like you can still see it, but it's very light. So now you can use that as, you know, to help. So I'm gonna have to erase this now. Okay. Oh, let's erase it then. Erase. Make sure you can still see it. I can still see mine. They're very light though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the eraser is shaking the whole desk. to the second step which is build the shape of the body around the skeleton that I, like which is a structure that I just made so I'm on to this part right here the bottom one so I just did that now it's time for this and you can see you can still see it lightly on that one so let's start so now I have to make her hair which is like babbled. <laughs> so, 
let's see. Just like that, and then okay, and messed up. It's really when it comes to hair, it can be really hard sometimes, or hard. Oops. Then I want to make the top part. Okay. Yeah, it can get hard. <laughs> and now we need to make kind of like a top part now. Now we have to make like a top part, which is gonna be the hardest part, cause I have to make it touch right at the top of the circle, and that's kind of hard. So let's see. There we go. That's gonna have to do. <laughs> and now we make kind of, of a line. Going from here, from the ear to down, and a circle right here. Okay, now I'm done with the hair. Now I'm gonna have to make the inside part, which is kind of like the, you know, the part where it's covering the face. There you go. So I've gotten the hair as best as I could. It is a little hard, so I got it as best as I could. So yeah. Now it's time to do let's see. Now it is time to do the neck. And I have to redraw the chin too. There we go. Now, we need to draw the neck, which touches the hair and the chin. Like one side touches the hair and the other side. So I have to make the hair lower now. Uh, just like girls and hair do these in real life. Okay, I won't lie about that. <laughs> There we go. Now let's try this. So she has kind of like of a turtleneck, seems like. So, got to make this just right. Um, still gotta make the hair lower. This is getting hard now. <laughs> the structure was like the easiest part. Okay, that's too low. See, that might work. Now let's try this. Yay, it worked. Okay, now, now I can draw the neck. <laughs> and now we can draw the turtleneck that she has. Okay, it is a big turtleneck too. 
Ah, I see something else I could do with the neck that'll probably make it look better, which is make it go outwards once it, like for the shoulders, for example. Oh, now her chin looks horrible. I'll have to fix that later. Okay, that'll do. So let's fix one thing. Okay, I've gotten the neck now. <laughs> it took me at least like five minutes just to do the neck. Because they really want you to be very precise. And now that can be hard. So now I have the turtleneck done. So now I can do the dress. So that's what I have so far. So now I can do the dress. Okay. So her arm is like a sleeveless one. Okay, and that goes in. So this is this one goes not as in. Okay, so now it's time to make her breast. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sounds so weird. <laughs> the lump of it. At least that's why I meant the lump of it. Okay. Okay, there we go. I mastered one of the sides. It looks really cool. And now I have to do... So yeah. Yay! I mastered one of the side of the shirt. And now I have to do that side of the arm, you know. Okay. So the left arm. So it's just like that. And then it goes out right there okay then that's where the hand is which is a little there we go just like that now all we have to do is draw the dress on that side woohoo Almost finished. Aha. There we go. I've gotten that side. And I'm happy. Because it looks really good. Right there. Looks really good. Now I have to do the other side. Which I'm actually going to have to draw the arm really good. So let's see. There you go. And this side of Oh no, yeah, this side of the shirt is gonna have to go like Okay, yeah, this looks no. It's gonna have to go kinda in and then out on the hip. And then it goes down. There you go. Just like that. Now I gotta draw the arm. It's gonna be really hard. So she has like the armpits kind of showing. <laughs> and now it's like 
on it. Gonna make this really good. And her elbow turns. Okay. When it comes to this stuff, they really make you do it really good. Okay, and look at that. There we go. I got it, finally. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Woo! Okay. Now, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so now I have to make the bottom of the dress, but I can also do some, some of the, there you go, like that, and okay. And then right at the leg, it's going to go in and back out. Okay, that's way too, um, kind of messed up there. Okay. Above the knee. And then right the leg is going to go. There we go. I got it. So now I got the skirt, and now all I have to do is draw the legs. So I've gotten the skirt, and now all I have to do is draw the legs. Yay. I'm almost done. Well, almost up two out of four, but I'm halfway there. So. Now we could draw the legs. Now it's like really not that hard, but it is fun to do. It is really fun to do. So I think you guys should try it out, sketching. And if you guys sketch, um, comment down below that you do. And I will reply to your text. Telling you some of the things that I've sketched. Okay, that foot's largely very big. Let's fix that. There we go. Gotten that leg. <laughs> now it's time for this leg. Okay, this leg goes slightly, um, yeah, slightly, um, a little like that. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to fix this leg. This leg looks like alien leg. <laughs> yep, alien leg. Okay. Fix that. It's going to out. There you go. Just gonna have to do. So now I've gotten the legs right there. It's the whole body. See? And now, yeah, now I've finished up two. Just like that. I think it looks pretty good. So that's how structure can help 
you're at work. It's really good. Now it's time to add the detail for step three, which is define, smooth, and darken the outlines. And, you know, draw the eyes and, you know, detail the face, the dress, and stuff like that. So, and the shoes, and the fingers. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get started on that. Okay. I like how the fingers look. <laughs> Uh, the fingers kind of look bad, but I did the best I could. Because their fingers look way more good. <laughs> it's just so weird. So now it's time for details. Now let's just... Now this is for... If I had a smudger, I would have used it, but no, a good smudger is your finger. Because this could be smudged a little bit. There we go. And if you guys hear that noise, that's my mom doing the gar her garden outside. Sorry about that. <laughs> see her then. Okay. Now, I've gotten that detail. Now it's time for, let's see. Now there's a line in the dress, like the, de the design of the dress right here. There we go. And more details. There we go. So now we have the wrinkle of the dress. You know, you always have to iron your dress if you don't want wrinkles, right? <laughs> but this girl obviously didn't do that. She even could. If they had irons back in the 1960s. <laughs> Not really good with wrinkles, though. Can't really do that. the best I could do. It's not really good at all. That's the best I could do. Uh. Eh. I did better, I guess. Ah, smudging it probably would make it look better. There we go. Looks better, I guess. So, now I need to make the shoes. Which is probably going to be the easiest part in detail. Or designing. Detail. Ah. Oh. Huh. And the back part of it. And I just get more. Now let's just erase the rest of this more. In the first shoe, just fix that. Now it's time for the second shoe. Um, Okay, 
that's uh, I fixed that here a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So now I have the shoes. Actually, let me just fix it a little bit more. There we go. I guess that's fine. Okay, I've gotten the shoes, and now, now I have to do the face. I forgot. I should have done the face first, probably. And I just noticed something else bad about there. Wow. A lot of mistakes to fix. I just going back to stuff. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now we can actually. Even if it's the There we go, I fixed it. Now I gotta do the eyebrows. Now this time I'm gonna have to really go. Okay. Um. Oh, I found a problem. I gotta make the face for the whole face. I wanna have to make stuff big. Oopsies. Okay, um. Uh, yeah, there's a face right here. Oh, the chin really doesn't match. I gotta fix the chin here. <laughs> Oopsies. No stick. Ah, that's better, I guess. Okay. Since I got that now, it's time for. Okay, so now I have, like, her face and. The drawing that I'm doing is long, and the face in there, it, her face is short, so... Oopsies, I guess, again. <laughs> so now I gotta do the eyes. Which is probably gonna be the hardest part for me. Yep, already missed. Uh, missed up. Messed up. Oh no, her eyes, <laughs> no. It's gonna t take me like 25 minutes just to get one eye, most likely. Okay, let's do that, okay. Okay, I've got an eye, but the previous eye is messing it up, so I'm gonna have to try to fix it. There you go. Is that good? There you go. I got a really good eye. Woohoo! Now, when it comes to noses at angles, the nose is probably going to be very, it looks like it's going to be very close to the other eye that the angle is like covering up, kind of. But it's not really that close. It's just how the nose looks in the angle. So I'm gonna make the eye. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that eyebrow. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And also the eye on the other side is probably me. Kinda small, like very kinda. Okay. There you go. Did the nose, and now it's time for the mouth. 
It's just very hard because it's so small. Okay. So I'm going to have to make it big in this one. Oh, her lips are horrible. Yep. They look horrible. And her one eye is just bothering me. Yeah, the face is the hardest part to me when it comes to this girl. There we go, I guess. Okay, now it's time for the mouth. Which I'm not gonna get, but I guess it's good. There we go. Okay, that looks just weird. Her face is so horrible because of me. Yeah, the lips are not gonna work. It's just not how they did it. <sighs> I mean, did you say this? Chin has little. Um, does that really work? Um, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. They're gonna say that she has a ugly face, but yeah, the face didn't really work out. But I'm done with detail now. If you can see that, the face is horrible. <laughs> kind of looks like she has a double chin. But um, so that's how it looks. Looks pretty good, like everything else, but not the face. But I can't fix the face. And now level four or step four is shading, shading the um stuff, the dress and the face and hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Start with the shoes. Okay. Okay, and now, oh no, the dress. Why? Okay, so now I can, now I have to make a zipper on the dress. Now the dress is probably gonna be like the the for step four. Dress is probably like design time. And then a small line down here. There we go. Now it's time to shade. Okay, the dress is going to look way different, just saying. When it comes to shading. Okay, I 
darker shade. Okay. There we go. Got one side of design. Thing. And now it's time for the other side. And the whole bottom half of the other side is flat, like white. So very gentle. Okay. There we go. Now I've gotten. Oh, now I have to do a very light shade. Uh oh. There we go. I shaded that and now all I have to do is shade the hair and I'll be done. Woohoo! Er, mm, eyes, right. Yeah, the face is not good. So like I said. Okay. Uh, the hair, no, no. Those are the hair. There you go. I am finished. The only thing bad about this is the face. So I'm just gonna do a slow interview. Okay. And do the whole picture. Just like that. Look at that. Well, I'm saving this. Well, that's end of this sketch video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the picture, and um, subscribe. Remember to subscribe, and comment down below if I see if you like the sketch videos. And I'll do more if I get a lot of them. And if this video hits, let's see, if this video hits 15 thumbs up, I will do a challenge, but it's going to be a surprise challenge. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video.